everyone. Welcome to Monday the 28th. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. I was going to make this an FCA Friday video, but then I changed my mind because I'm like, you know what? We don't need a foot video after Thanksgiving. We're not. Anywho, <laughs> I hope that it was well for you and I hope that going into whatever your holiday season looks like after that was good. And if you didn't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope that you just had a good week and a good weekend. And so what we're doing today is this, as I said, it is my, I don't know if I said it, my final foot video. I had it in my head, <laughs> but this is the final foot update video. If you want to see the entire journey from surgery, I had bunion removal from beginning of surgery, cast to boot, full recovery. Here's it up here. I will link the playlist over here. And that will give you all of the details of the surgery. And this has been my couple months. It is, um, I'm recording this on the 23rd. Uh, so it has been uh, several months. I had the surgery in June and I am a couple months post absolute surgery, like past the, um, I was estimated to have seven to eight weeks of recovery. So we are way past that. So I just wanted to do an update about how my foot has been doing. And I would just like to say that I have a little, little bit of pain. And for the first, I'll say like two and a half weeks, like from September and the two and a half weeks into October, I did find myself needing to wrap my foot with an ACE bandage for a little extra st support and to reduce pain while it was in my shoe. But in, I don't think that's a surgical related problem. What I really believe it was, was I got a job short, a new job shortly after surgery recovery, which was at a factory. And I have to wear steel toed shoes on a cement floor. So that's definitely not the most behooving thing. It was just what life happened for me. And that's what I just have had to deal with. And it hasn't been horrible. Like I said, I did have a limp, a pretty pronounced limp for most of that time. For almost all of October, I had a fairly pronounced limp. But over November, it has definitely gotten better. I really only have a little bit of a limp at the end of a week. Like by Friday, you know, working still to shoe cement floor. Um, I have a little bit of a limp, but I have not had to use the ACE bandage or do any particular soaking. I was making sure to continue to elevate my feet just because that's generally healthy for you to do. And a warning, I am going to show my foot to kind of not show you the scar. You'll see. Um, in fact, we're gonna get into that right now. So here's your warning. If you don't wanna actually see foot, which I can understand, uh, that is coming up. So this is this is your warning to like skip over to something or you can just stop watching and have a good day but for everybody else here we go okay it's happening two one foot so here is the scar right here and hopefully you can't see it not very well anyway but yeah um it is really light very faint it has faded very nicely the surgeon did a really excellent job like it's not choppy or anything it's just a straight line um you really it's really really hard to see the indentations of where the stitches were i had stitches on my upper thigh before and i and that was when i was two and i still have really pronounced um stitch holes around the scar uh but Anyway, but my foot has been doing well. I do still have um, some, uh, I have to continue to do my foot exercises because sometimes my toe does get stiff, but I really chalk that up more to um, the shoes, the steel-toed shoes, than like any surgical residualness. I don't know how to describe that effectively, but hopefully you get the picture. Uh, but I have been walking very normally. I have gone back to full regular exercises. I have been on an elliptical for an hour. I can do yoga. I can do um, like three, I can do downward dog and 
all of the warrior poses. Um, I have had to rework on my balance, of course, because I didn't have that available muscle <laughs> movement group for a long time, but uh, that has improved greatly. I can now balance on that foot if I want to, if I need to for like tree pose or something like that. I can't hold it as long as I used to, but I am at a point where I can do that while I can run again, everything is good. So thank you for hanging out with me for this journey. I hope if you have any surgeries, which I don't hope you have surgeries, but if you do, I hope that they go really well, and I hope that I've given you something good in this journey. Thank you for all the likes and supports. Um, if you subscribe for surgery or foot videos, I, I understand if you don't want to maintain that, but thank you for while you were there, um, because I'm not going to just continue to get surgeries for the view count or clout. That's crazy, but I did just want to do like the couple months out you know, regroup of saying, this is what happened. You know, this is what you, if you have a similar surgery, here's a, here's what happened to me. No guarantees that we will have the identical journey, but, um, you know, if you have a bunion surgery here, here's what other, someone else experienced a couple months out, even though they had still toed shoes. I'm not happy about still toed shoes. Must admit. But that is it. Final video for this series. I uh, hope that everything goes well for you. And thank you again. Bye. I didn't hit the right button. <laughs> Bye.